Welcome back to Terminology Tuesday. Today we are profiling slash pine, Pinus eliadii. Pinus eliadii slash pine is a medium to large size pine tree reaching 60 to 100 feet tall and occurring in wet flatwoods across Florida and other poorly drained areas with sandy or soils. It also has been extensively planted though as well in uplands like this sand hill I'm standing in because it is tolerant of drier soils and it has been used as a very important source for lumber and even turpentine. The bark is rough and furrowed and kind of this scaly grayish brown on young trees. On older trees, the bark matures into these broad flat plates that are very flaky and scaly and they peel away to show this orangey brown color. And this um, type of bark is very similar to longleaf pine bark as well, so the bark is not the best way to identify this species. Longleaf pine, Pinus palustris, and loblolly pine, Pinus tata, are the two species that slash pine, Pinus eliadii, is most often confused with. But the main ways to differentiate them are the needles and the cones. Slash pine needles are medium in length, so they're about 7 to 12 inches on average, usually about 8 to 10 typically. And so that's similar to loblolly pine, but shorter than longleaf pine. But the main difference is that slash pine have bundles, fascicles, of two to sometimes three needles whereas loblolly and longleaf have three needles per fascicle. The twigs of slash pine are pretty thick all the way up to the tip, and they're very scaly. They peel back in these scales, and the needles are held in kind of an upright, slightly oppressed um, manner. So as opposed to longleaf especially, which tends to have its needles be hanging down. The female cones of the slash pine are one of the most uh, easily identifying feature for me for this species. They're this beautiful kind of russet brown color. Um, they're similar in size, about seven, um, three to seven inches long to loblolly cones, but they're usually rounder and they um, have that beautiful color that orangey or orangey brown kind of color because they don't stay on the tree after the seeds have come out. They fall usually within the same year that they drop their seeds. The cones do have a little prickly spine, but they're kind of positioned further down as opposed to more outwardly like the loblolly is. So when you grab a slash pine cone, it, it's not very painful. It's more soft, you can grab it easily. Whereas the loblolly cones, as soon as you pick it up, it's very prickly. And you can see they're much smaller in size compared to the longleaf cones, obviously. Just in general, everything about the longleaf cones is more robust. Pinus eliadii holds its needles in this kind of upright, oppressed manner, as opposed to the longleaf that lets its needles kind of hang, its long needles hang. But also the terminal bud is one way to differentiate the two species because the terminal buds of the uh, slash pine, Pinus eliadii, are this brownish color, whereas the buds of the longleaf pine are whitish silvery. Pinus eliadii slash pine does occur down into peninsular Florida. But keep in mind that there's another entity that has been historically lumped in with Pinus eliadii, South Florida slash pine, it's called Pinus densa, which is now recognized as a distinct species with different characteristics, which we'll profile later in the season.